Hello again, guys. All right, so where we last left off, um, we were designing the transaction forms, and we also set up some functionality within JavaScript so that when you select uh, a transaction type, um, it then displays a particular form. And then if you check here, when we say transfer, um, the transfer form will display, but it won't show the um, the other form. Um, so today we're just going to finish off and create all the the, the last two forms. And then just clean up some of the um, some of the stuff, like for example the payment button there. Okay, so um, okay, so let's first change that button from pay to transfer. Okay, and then what we then need to do, uh, let's close off this JavaScript file. Okay, so now we know that um, within our JS file here. Um, the forms displayed depending on what we select from the transaction type option. So now let me just copy this, right? And then, right, the, the other option is deposit. Okay. And then the other one will be. Um, withdraw okay so just make sure the naming that we have here is the same as what you have within these options here okay so it's deposit and then withdraw let me just make sure i copy them right paste there and then withdraw paste it there Okay, and then we need also const withdraw card. Right, that's gonna equal to document dot query selector dot um it should be with draw and then slash card. Okay, so we got all the IDs or the classes for the cards that we're going to create. So we already have the payment and the transfer card. So if we come in here, we can then now proceed to create the the other cards. All right, so we have the, sorry, we have the transfer card right here. So let's come here, copy this right below the transfer card. We're going to paste it there. Okay, um, so this one will be deposit. Okay, so we got that there. So here we don't need this, we don't need a selection, right? What we need is an input field. Sorry, save that. I'm gonna come up there. Yeah, let's just take this one. So you're going to copy that info input field right here where it says deposit card right under the body. I'm going to paste it uh, there. Uh, let me just do this. Right. See, I'm going to change it to deposit amount. Uh, let's change that transfer to. Deposit amount. Here we're gonna say deposit amount, right? And then that should be it. Don't need anything else. Okay. And then what else? Uh, okay. The account selection is gonna also be the same within here. And then we can remove. We can remove this. Okay. So. Um, yeah, so that's the deposit uh, card. By the way, I do realize that I didn't add the form tags. Um, so actually, let's start off here within the within the deposit. So look, we're gonna copy from there where it says enter deposit amount and right before the body. So basically, right after the body and before the body. So I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna say. Uh,
composite form. Apologies for that, guys. I didn't realize that I didn't add the the what you call it, the form tags. And I'm gonna give the class of deposit uh, deposit um, form. And then I'm gonna paste uh, those elements we cut out. Right, so there it is. Um, what else? So let me just be sure, right, and then deposit. Okay, just to verify, I'm gonna click there, press a deposit. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, deposit form, deposit card. And then in here, was it? Okay, well, why is it displaying that? Okay, that works. Okay, obviously, we need to change our JS file, obviously. So here now remember the deposit comes before the transfer and then comes um oh it comes after the transfer and then comes before the withdrawal so what we can then now here do is copy that deposit card variable place it there and say previous sibling element must be display none next sibling element must be display uh none and then here we can say display block now there's another issue here because we need to also make sure that the payment card doesn't display so we'll also have to add it here so uh, let's click there and say deposit okay so now it's showing the deposit form and then if you check there it's showing it okay uh, let's add a margin between uh, where are we now we are in the deposit form so let's show a margin um, between the button and the form element okay so there's some space there okay all right so yeah what I meant was um, if you check now if I say payment now yeah, the deposit form still shows because the only thing we're doing within the payment form is not displaying the transfer so we still need to fix that but it's fine um, I just wanted to show you also if I were to select the deposit um, for example let, let me see transfer right both of them won't show right and then if I were to say deposit deposit will display but won't show the transfer but if I were to say payment it will still display so we still need to fix that but don't worry about that we'll do that just shortly so okay so deposit amount deposit card yeah, the last thing we need is the um, what you call it the withdrawal card right Let me just indent. Um, no, no, that's fine. Let's change this to the deposit and the card body. All right. Right after that, we're gonna say in this with with draw card, right? In the here we'll say withdrawal amount right we need to change that as well right and then obviously here again we'll stay the same because we're going to select from a specific account and here we can change to withdraw right and then let's try um no that's fine deposit form here we're gonna say withdrawal form so we're missing the So here needs to be the end of the withdrawal card. 
I made a mistake when I was copying there. Right. Okay. All right. So let's come back here. So now when we display the form, the next sibling element shouldn't display, but then we also say deposit card dot style dot display will be equal to none. Right. Uh, let me copy this paste it again and then this time we say withdraw card we paste it there okay so now uh, transfer is fine but we need to also make sure that the withdraw card doesn't display so we take that withdraw card styling and then we're going to paste it here within the, the transfer card which is that so we don't need to specify the payment and the deposit because as you see the next sibling element is deposit it'll make sure that it doesn't display previous one is payment right so now within the deposit we don't need to stress about the withdrawal and transfer because the next sibling element is withdrawal the previous one is transfer so we need the card payment uh, the payment uh, card here to display none all right so i hope um, you're able to see what I'm actually doing here. Uh, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but yeah. All right, so hopefully if we did everything correctly, when we come back here, we select, um, okay, I made a mistake somewhere. Um, okay, somewhere I made a mistake. Withdrawal form. Okay, let me check again. So this is off canvas transact start, right? It should end here. And then now we're gonna go into the off canvas body. Okay. Uh, that ends there and then now we're going to say payment card let's check it okay it ends there and say transfer card that ends there and then this is where i think we have the issue deposit card body uh-huh form okay so withdraw let's see what's going on here withdraw card okay yeah not as much um, okay so we're missing the body tag end of body tag um, if I save that okay everything is back all right apologies for that guys I made a mistake I didn't copy it correctly when I did it the first time so uh, let me make sure I um, this is what I meant when I said I only do these commenting because I sometimes have a tendency of missing which elements I'm, be, I'm working on. So, all right. So if we did everything correctly, we say death, we say uh, withdraw. It will show the, oh, we still need to change this. Uh, deposit. Okay. So as you can see, um, wait, let me just be sure. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot we have to change this as well. So, um, withdraw card. Style will be block, okay? And then the previous element for the withdraw card, it shouldn't display. And then this doesn't have a next sibling element. It only ends there, right? So, what we need to take now is we need to take the transfer. So, let me copy this, paste it a couple of times. So what we need to take is the transfer card. Where is it? It's over here. So this shouldn't display. And then the payment card as well shouldn't display. Right, so the, the transfer card and the payment card shouldn't display. 
the previous element is deposit so that automatically won't be displaying but then the uh, withdraw card will display okay so if i click that see with deposit uh, withdrawal amount payment hold on payment oh yeah sorry I'm supposed to say none apologies so if I say deposit, okay, withdrawal amount, and then you select the account, and then withdraw. You say deposit, it only shows the deposit, and then select the account. If you say transfer, uh, you obviously that, but let me say withdraw, right? This is not the next sibling of the transfer. So if I say transfer, still it does the same thing. It removes that element, and then payment does the same thing. If I say deposit, payment as you can see all the elements that we know all the, it only displays the um the, the the card that we need so that's um that's our switch statement there so that handles the uh switching between the, the particular forms that we need so uh, there all right so all right so i think that's it in terms of what we need for the transaction forms and all of that but again guys i as you can see here on the left um the html file is quite messy don't stress about this like i said when we get to the jsp forms i mean when we get to jsps we're going to be setting up these as components and we will clean this up once we convert these files to JSP files. So don't stress about how this looks. Even the forms themselves, I'm going to put them in their own separate containers. I mean, on separate components and you will see we will clean this page up and uh, we will be able to handle all these elements accordingly. So for now, um, I just wanted to focus on the functionality of when we select the transaction type, which form displays and then transfer deposit, uh, withdrawal, etc. So don't stress about this. We will clean this up once we get to JSP files. All right, so um, I think that's it in terms of what we need for the transaction forms. Um, again, guys, I know I was bouncing all over the place, but hopefully um, this was simple enough. Uh, as you can see, you just get the, you just get whatever the element, the transaction type element. We listen for the change, um, for the change, um, uh, function uh, in fact you know what i had set this to a to an error function initially i thought that was the problem but let me just see if i set this up as it was will it still do the same okay it's fine all right in any case guys um look i'm gonna be honest i haven't touched javascript in a while um so i've been thinking about doing a project in javascript but i just haven't thought of anything special or unique in that way but yeah but we don't if you don't want to use error functions it's fine you can use the normal one um but yeah this is all we need in terms of our javascript um this should be the only section where we have to do this but in any case i think that should be it for the video all right guys so if you've liked what you've seen so far um Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys within the next video. All right, cheers for now.